Hi, my name is John Brakey, and I am a voting election security expert. Uh, Our USA is uh, an acronym that stands for Americans United for Democracy, Integrity, and Transparency Election. This whole thing in North Carolina, uh, what we've been working there for the last four months, has brought a lot to light, and that we're maybe finding a pattern of what we're finding there is happening in other states. how these machines have been deployed, the games that were played along with really just one major vendor, you know, that we're looking at very hard, who happens to be the largest, is election systems and software. Be absolutely 100% clear. These ballots can be hand counted and be audited. These ballots can be hand counted and audited. They are hand counted. Marking it. Uh, you're going to put your mark different ways. There's water you know, stains. I mean, nobody marks it the same way. And so each ballot becomes unique, okay? And then it goes into these new devices. It takes a picture of it, okay? That's a digital cast vote record. And that cast vote goes into a ledger. Now, that is a digital scanner. The old system that we used to use it was optical scan. An optical scan is that when a when your ballot went into the machine, it had to be perfectly aligned, and a light came down, and if there was a dark spot there, it sensed it, and that's what's called mark sense technology. The bad thing about it, it left no evidence behind. Digitals create a copy. Our main focus at Audit USA is to make sure that public records aren't destroyed. And we're finding that in communities of color, now say Ohio being a good example, the three counties that were not saving the digital images properly happen to be the three largest counties of people of color, which would be Cuyahoga County, which is Cleveland area. Then you have uh, Cincinnati, which is Hamilton, and then uh, Franklin, uh, Columbus. And uh, they were all destroyed. That in the upcoming election in this country, 80% of all the votes are going to be counted on digital scanners. And if we truly want elections that are transparent, trackable, and publicly verified, we need to be in a situation we request three records. A copy of the ballot image, the cast vote record, and the LVR. It's a list of vote records made off of a digital scanner. Okay, one row is everything that's on a ballot and it's made up of CVRs and the CVR is a cast vote record that's directly made from that ballot image. We get the ballot image, part of the string of custody, you get the cast vote record, which is number two in line in the chain, you got a link now, and then you get the LVR, you've just made the black box into a transparent box, they're public records that could prove elections are real. And that's what we're working for, because we know that if we get those three records, we just took away the impunity of the hacker. And the fight is to make sure they're not destroying these things. And they are destroying them. We'll be filing suit probably by the end of the year, back and forward again. Half the counties are doing it right. Half the counties aren't. And if it's generated in the chain of custody, it must be preserved. If it's a federal election, it must be preserved for 22 months. And why is it important? Because our country needs people to stand up and to say that we deserve elections that are transparent, trackable, and publicly verified. We need to make sure that when the loser loses, you know, that he really knows that he lost, or at least the people behind him. That's what we're trying to do. And the only way we're gonna do that is to go into court and say, hey, you can't destroy this stuff, you must preserve it. And, and that's where we got this thing boiled down to a really simple part of the fix, only for the black box. You know, I'm not talking about, about the election chicanery by voter suppression or by gerrymandering or by micro-targeting your mind that's really destroying things for us all. All I know is the solution is transparency.